This video was made possible by Tap Persia, the number one source for travelers visiting Iran. Get everything from visas and transport tickets to fully personalized tours with Tap Persia's 24 7 assistance. Check out their links in the description below. Welcome to the island of Keshem here. We're in the city of Kesh seeking refuge because it started raining, unfortunately. We were over on the island of Hormuz for two days, but we didn't make our video there yet. We're going back there tomorrow because it's actually currently the anniversary of the Islamic Revolution here in Iran, so it's a public holiday, so there's a lot of people around these parts. When we were on the boat across here from Hormuz this morning, which is just a 45 minute ride, I noticed cargo ship after cargo ship after cargo ship. That is because the Strait of Hormuz here is one of the most important maritime choke points in the world. There's just 39 kilometers that separates the mainland Iran from Musandan, an exclave of Oman, and 20% of the world's oil passes through the strait. So it's crucial, crucial place. Anyway, we're gonna get a 4x4 now and explore the island. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe if you're new. What are you waiting for? Let's go. So the plan has changed slightly. Unfortunately, we're not getting a 4x4 because we were supposed to get a 4x4 with Ahmad's two friends and they are stuck on the mainland. So we've rented a taxi, he's taking us around and the weather, I feel like I'm in Ireland. It's diabolical. Ahmad, yeah. ask him how often it rains here. Sometimes it rains like five times a year, sometimes no rain in a year. Okay, we're very unlucky. <laughs> it's uh, one hour to Oman and one hour to other parts of Emirates. Chat to Dubai, Dubai, get to River and five hours to Dubai. Five hours to Dubai in a fast uh, boat. And fast truck, yeah, fast boat. So there's a floating oil rig over there that used to belong to the UAE, but apparently somehow it drifted the whole way over here and ended up on Kesham's shores. Right, we've stopped off at our first location, Corbus Cave, going for a look at it now. Sheltering from the rain, not too bad. Photo traffic jam here. Health and safety 101. Oh, bit slippy. So the Corbus Caves are located in pretty much a vertical limestone cliff and were said to have sheltered locals over centuries when there, when Keshem was been raided by pirates and the likes, bandits, etc. The boys. So we're here at Star Valley which is closed and we can't get in. The security guard won't let us in. It's closed because of the rain. Someone slipped and almost fell off the cliff. It's meant to be one of the uh, most popular things to do here in Keshem, but look, we'll have to battle on. I even said I'd, I'd pay more, but no is no. So now we're on Nas Beach and we're looking over to Nas Island which you can actually drive to normally but the tide is in. So when the tide goes out people drive across there in their cars. Sometimes they get trapped because the tide comes back in again and they have to wait till it goes back out but pretty interesting. It is a bit mad around here. You can ride a camel, you can ride a donkey, you can get a jet ski, you can go on a boat, you can buy a pair of shoes, you can get some food, you can buy a dress, you can buy a pair of jeans. <laughs> There's a lot of options. Oh and you can also ride a quad bike over there. So the weather has improved substantially and now we're looking to get a boat across to Hengham Island. So while we were in there getting information for the yeah. boat... <laughs> yeah, it was crazy! Earthquake! There was an earthquake. No, not a word of a lie. Yeah. An earthquake. Not a big one, but big enough to be able to feel it. And I was last in one in 2007. 3.9 on the Richter scale in Cathedral Gorge in, I think, Nevada? In the US. But there's just one now and oh, you could feel it. And we're beside the sea and now we're getting a boat to an island. 
Is this a good idea? Is it going to be a tsunami? Imad? No, no, tsunami. I don't think so. Because Imad is a, Imad is a expert on no, earthquakes. No, no, no. <laughs> no life jackets. No nothing. Just pile on. So the earthquake was a 5.3 magnitude on the Richter scale and it happened about 40 kilometers from where we are right now. I actually thought it was a gust of wind. <laughs> the building shaked and I thought, oh, it was windy out there because the weather's been bad. But anyway, we still here. So lunch has just arrived, we're having chicken, rice, french fries, which is very surprising, and little, um, what are they? Uh, These are carrots. Carrots, there you go, so, bon appetit. It's just turned into an absolute beaut of a day, to think about how it began. Just having a little walk along the beach here on this island, must, must say, really like the vibe here. It's good, it's very chill, relaxed, people just enjoying themselves, and the sun is out. I don't even know why I have this fleece fully zipped up, because it's genuinely very hot right now. Maybe I'll zip it down. Let's go. Okay, so we were just there briefly for lunch. And now heading back to the main island of Keshem to continue. But exploring. many campers, sorry, many campers come to this island to camp in its beaches and have a relaxed time and uh, do nothing exactly but camping. And <laughs> chill, camping. just chill, yeah. Chill it's a nice here. island, this one, I'd recommend it. Back on our way now and it took about 30 40 minutes to get a boat back because there were so many people coming there was a lack of boats no courtesy just everybody pushing and shoving to get their position on the boat and one guy fell off the harbor into the water while trying to get on So we're getting a tour now into the Hara Forest here which is a group of trees that grow in salt water looks pretty cool Let's see. Just like that, we're stuck. We only have five minutes to go out of this. Because the tide is coming down, we will be stuck here for six hours if we don't get out of this in five minutes now. Merci. Okay. You know there are huge crocodiles here. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to make them tonight. <laughs> crocodile kebab. <laughs> So this mangrove is 20,000 acres and according to the guy driving the boat, translated from Farsi by Ahmad, it would take four days to go up and down every single passage here. So that puts it in pers into perspective really, it's massive. Why me Majid? Majid? This is my daughter, it's Yasemin. Yasemin. Boy, it's Esan. Esan? Nice to meet you. Thank you. <laughs> so that was really really fun it was kind of cool the way the thing broke down a bit of banter had a great connection with the father his uh, son and daughter and the other guy it was nice enjoyed that recommend it so our taxi driver drove us uh, with all speed to the harbor and we, we took a uh, 
ferry to Bandera bus. Now we are taking the ferry back to Hormuz. So there you go. It's taken us a while, but we've come back to Hormuz Island where the day began. I hope you enjoyed our little exploration of Keshem. Um, tell us in the comments down below what we missed or what you would have liked to see. Give the video a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video real, real soon. Good luck.